Hello and welcome to Two Car Pros. Today we're going to do an ABS warning light troubleshooting guide. When this light is on, it means the system is disabled, so you're in a situation where the car needs to use the system, it won't work, and you may lose control of the vehicle. An ABS sensor is used to detect and monitor wheel rotation while providing feedback information to the ABS module or controller. With this information, the controller can drop brake line pressure to a particular wheel to allow it to start rolling again, which helps it regain traction and control the car, which avoids accidents. If you have an ABS light that is on, don't worry, we've created a guide for everyday people just like you that want to fix this problem without the help of a fancy code scanner while using basic tools like a test light and a voltmeter. This information can also provide guidance to someone that's having their car repaired at a garage. The first step when you see an ABS light is to check the system fuse. This is done using a simple test light. There are two reasons for this fuse to fail. The first reason is it simply becomes weak and fails. The second is a short in the system. When this occurs, it is usually the ABS pump motor or controller. Check the ABS fuse. If the fuse checks out okay, please continue on to step two. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a like. This is a close-up shot of a blown fuse, just for reference. Step 2. All ABS-equipped cars are designed with four-wheel speed sensors. These sensors are located at each wheel and monitor the rotation via a reluctor, which is mounted to the brake rotor, CV joint, or rear axle. Slowly rotate the ring to check it for damage or missing teeth. When the reluctor spins by the magnetic sensor, it creates alternating current, or AC voltage. The faster it spins, the more voltage it creates. This voltage is sent to the controller as feedback information. All wheel speeds are monitored and adjusted in a hard braking or skid event. You should think of this operation as a small electric hammer tapping each wheel sensor. This constant barrage of voltage generation causes the sensors to fail, which is common. The trick becomes to test each sensor, which can easily be done using a voltmeter set to AC voltage. Since the sensor is magnetic, check it for metal shavings around the sensor, which can stop it from picking up the correct voltage. Slowly spin the axle or hub, which will produce the voltage. If no readings can be found, the sensor has failed and a replacement is required. The air gap between the sensor and the reluctor wheel must be between 0.45 to 1.1 millimeters. If this air gap is too wide or too close, it could be a sign of a bad wheel bearing. With the wheel sensor disconnected, an ohms test should read the resistance of 700 to 1300 ohms, depending on the temperature and manufacturer. If no resistance is observed, the sensor has an open circuit and has failed. Step 3. The final and most common failures of the ABS system and the cause for an ABS warning light to be on is the controller itself. This pump motor computer is used to monitor the system and control each of the four valves and pump a portion of the brake system. These units include the electronics and the system control relay which enables and disables the system when the key is off. If the key is off and you can still hear the ABS pump running, this relay has failed and a replacement of the module is required. Other failures include the ABS warning light which indicates a direct failure of the operation of the internal working of the module. If you've gone through all these things and the light is still on, the only other alternative is an open circuit somewhere in the wiring which can sometimes be difficult to find. While using a specific wiring diagram, use a voltmeter set to ohms of resistance to check each wire from one end to the other end of the system. This will help detect a broken or shortened wire, which once repaired, the light should turn off. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please visit DukeRPros.com.